On our way to the Defiance House, a 700 year old Indian cliff dwelling. And it's about a mile up this river drainage. It's only accessible by, by boat. And then this hike that we're about to go on, and uh, here we go. We're in Forgotten Canyon, and uh, the canyon's dry due to Lake Powell being um, used as a water resource out in the west. So this is the first time we've actually been able to walk the bottom of the lake, actually, is what we're doing. Uh, we got about a mile walk before we get to these uh, Indian ruins. Just up ahead, and we're about to go to the Defiance House, 700 year old ancient Indian ruin, one of the best preserved ones in the, uh, in the Canyonlands. Heading up, they're just up here. All right, we're on our final ascent up here, up the uh, trail to the Defiance House. And it's, uh, yeah, it's going up a steep ledge. Um, obviously the Forest Service has put a couple stairs in to make it easier, but nonetheless, still good to pay attention on the way up here. Um, just heading on up. It's time for a little tour of the Defiance House. Um, 
You can see the timbers that are up here, and it's amazing that people used to live in such small environments and quarters, but uh, amazing. Um, I think 1250 AD was the last time people actually lived in these dwellings. So uh, over 700 years for sure on that one. Now let's go see some more. All right, let's uh, check out the next dwelling right around this one. It's right around the corner. Let's go into one of these dwellings and see what life was like back about 700 years ago. And down we go into history. This is kind of the tour here. Um, what they used to do was they, had, they used to have a fire, obviously to stay warm. And this is what chimney that they used to uh, actually get some drafts. And it actually goes up to the top. And uh, so that's how they were able to get those fires in here. There's a little storage area. I'm sure where they're putting things. And then another one over here as well. And you can actually see the uh, soot from the fires that were built here um, many centuries ago. And uh, very interesting. When found in 1959, most of the roofs of this dwelling were still intact. The ladders resting against the wall were here. And there were even two red bowls with some food scraps um, left here as well. So it was a pretty remarkable find. All right, well, let's head on out. Science House, Lake Powell, 2013. That's it, we're uh, heading down and uh, Beck's on our way. We've got about a mile, about a mile hike out of here. And then a, uh, maybe about like a three mile boat ride back to camp. So that was cool. It's been many years since I've been to the Defiance house. And it's just as interesting and well intact as it was the first time that I visited. Last bit of rocky ledges here and then we're out. Not a very worn in trail. Just kind of picking our way through it here. Down to the river bottom, and uh, we're heading out. Okay, we're back from our hike, our adventure at Defiance House, and we're gonna get back in the boat, head back to camp, and do a little more fishing later on.
All right, Beck, you caught another fish here. What do you got, Beck? Looks like it might be a largemouth. Yeah. It's another largemouth bass. It was interesting seeing the creek bed today that's normally filled with water all the way up and up to Defiance House. So walking the creek bed was interesting because you got to really see and feel what it was like for these people that lived up in the Defiance House, what it was like for them to walk in and out of that canyon. So it was, it was actually really incredible. And it was beautiful seeing the trees and all the foliage that grew where normally it's all underwater. So it was, it was a nice, nice trip. All right guys, we're out uh, here striper fishing, trying to bring a couple fillets home for some striper vera cruise, which I love. And uh, I think what I've got on here right now, um, doesn't feel like a striper. Could actually be a catfish. Okay. Let's remember these catfish have three very sharp spines on them. And uh, you want to make sure you grab them properly there. I'll show you what he's all about. All right, Becky's, Becky's got a nice striper on here, guys. It's a good one. She's fighting her good. She's giving you battle, huh, Beck? Okay, hold on. Oh, maybe even bigger. Here we go. All right, Lake Powell striper. Making it happen here, Lake Powell. It's my turn to get this guy's striper under the boat here. Tighten up my drag a little bit. He's pulling good. Get him on the other side of the boat. There he is. There he is. Okay, I think we've caught our last striper for the day, pretty much only because. We don't want to catch anymore because I got to clean all these guys, but there's a, another nice one right here. Um, yeah, we're going to go back to camp and fillet these up and get them on ice and uh, have some nice dinners. Into the well. I'd say today was a good day of fishing. We've got a boatload of striped bass here on the boat and I've got a lot of work ahead of me. So with that said, I'm about to go clean a bunch of fish and Call my buddies for some dinner. Lake Powell.